Well, I'm on a fax of Mars. And before I get started with the main subject, which is Hillary, uh, and the story by a Secret Service agent that she basically is a worthless piece of you know what. Um, I wanted to do, this isn't a retraction, but what happened was public pressure has forced the uh, government justice department to release a full transcript of uh, what this slime said in, uh, said to the cops on uh, 911, whatever, slime in Orlando. We killed all those people. And apparently public pressure and Republican lawmakers got on the Justice Department's case and chewed Loretta Lynch a new one. So what's happened is they're going to release all the details, including the slime's allegiance to radical Islamic groups. I just want to, it's not a retraction per se, because I couldn't anticipate this happening. It's just uh, a correction from my previous video where they uh, were censoring it. That's all. Okay, now on to Hillary. The Secret Service officer is, is releasing a move book called Crisis of Character. This is a guy who was stationed outside the Oval Office with a pistol on his side and he got to observe these idiots. Oop, did I call the Clintons idiots? Well, I guess I did. And the introduction burn says Name, his name is Gary J. Byrne. In their induction, Byrne says he has personally observed Clinton's, Bill Clinton's infidelities and was complicit in covering them up. In other words, hid the fact that uh, Bill Clinton was going in the Oval Office with bimbos. I even secretly disposed of sordid evidence, physical evidence that might later have been used to convict the president, Burns wrote. And he's taking his chances on uh, getting in trouble there. Byrne recalled an alleged fight between the first couple during the summer of 1995 in Chapter 1, The Vase. So the vase was smashed during a loud argument, and next morning, President Clinton sported a shiner, a real put a stake on the, on it black eye. Clinton's personal scheduler, Nancy Heinrich, allegedly told Byrne the eye condition was a result of Clinton's allergy to coffee. Oh, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. The book is not solely about the Clintons, however. While writing about his political career in the Oval Office Post, Byrne revealed an incident on May 30, 1983, when he said Russian bombers were spotted five miles off the U.S. coast while President Ronald Reagan was holding an economic summit in Williamsburg, Virginia. Byrne said U.S. fighter jets ended up shooting a warning missile right past bombers' nose and Soviet bombers turned around. That was never told to the media. That's not surprising. While books about Clinton's written by supposed insiders are plentiful, Burns' credibility is bolstered by reporting at the time uh, of the Monica Lewinsky Bill Clinton sex scandal. New York Times article from April 1998 reported that Burns, a uniformed member of the C Secret Service signed the White House, told Deputy Chief of Staff in 1996 about concerns he had regarding 
Lewinsky's visits to the West Wing of the White House. A CNN article from April 1998 said Burns' complaints about Lewinsky ultimately led to her being transformed, transferred to the Pentagon. Now there you have it. Uh, this isn't the end of the story, though. Let's take a look at what Media Matters has to say about this. Whoops. This is Media Matters. Uh, they call Media Matters is a wha radical left-wing wacko site. And they call it a conspiracy theory. I kid you not. Presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump and his conservative media allies have been aggressively promoting crisis, crisis of character, an upcoming book by former Secret Service officer Jer Gary J. Byrne that purports to reveal the inside story of serving under President Clinton and then First Lady Hillary Clinton. But rather than provide insight into their character and leadership style, Byrne is just latest in the line of authors to package unverified gossip about the Clintons in book form. Uh, he was there. You weren't, you idiot. And it's not a coincidence that Crisis of Character is being promoted by conservative outlets like New York Post and Drudge Report. Daily Mail, Breitbart.com, Trump ally Alex Jones, and Fox News. The National Enquirer, one of the publications to endorse Trump, promotes a book called Burn Daring. Writing on Facebook about the conservative me media coverage of his new book, Burn said, I must have done something right in my life be in big red font on the front page of Drudge's website. Yeah, well, I appreciate your service, sir. Thank you. And thank you for reading this information out. It's like, it's not any secret. Hillary used to beat the shit out of Bill Clinton. That's no secret. And this is a piece of garbage you want for president? Trump's much less than perfect, but at least he's not like that. I mean, Hillary is a domestic abuser. It's well known to anybody who's followed her. She's a radical feminist, a domestic abuser. abuser. She used to beat the shit out of Clinton. Bill Clinton. Now, these people don't care about that. They only care about their left-wing agenda. I'm Artifacts Mars, thanks for watching.